Saturday! It's Saturday! Oh, but before I play, I will help my mom clean the house. After fixing our bed, now we can start cleaning our home. First, I will remove the dust of all exposed surfaces. Dusting helps my family to not get asthma. I also help my mom sweep and mop all the dirt out of our home to maintain clean and cleanliness in our home. I also enjoy cleaning and rearranging my little pillows. In order for them to look nice and make my mom happy. I also enjoy washing the dishes. While cleaning the house, I also make sure that we store our household products in their rightful locations. This is our bedroom. We store cosmetics, lotion, deodorant, cologne, powder, and perfume in the dresser for daily use. This is our bathroom. In this area, we store our products such as toothpaste, toothbrush, shampoo, conditioner, soap for our daily use to, for our proper hygiene. This is our laundry room. We wash our clothes here. So laundry products such as detergent, bleach, and soap are stored here. Tea, coffee, and chocolate beverages, as well as our biscuits, are stored on this cabinet. Whereas other food products, such as noodles, canned foods, and other food items, are stored on this kitchen cabinet, above the sink, away from the source. Household materials that can cause harm to people, such as insecticides and cleaners, should be stored in a closed cabinet. In order not to be seen by children, we store our medicines and other first aid items in our medicine cabinet. such as wine, whiskey, beer, brandy, and rum are being stored in our bar. Now that our room is clean and our household products are properly stored, I can now enjoy my weekend. The visa number RA9003 or Waste Management Act Kami ay magtatapon ng basura sa tamang lalagyan. Ang mga lata, bote at plastic ay tatapon sa cyclable na lalagyan. Ang mga gamitan pa ng magandang gamitan. Ang mga balat ng prutas, gaya nito at iba pang nabubulok na basura, ay lalagay sa nabubulok na basurahan upang hindi masayang at meron pang gawin na maganda sa kanila. Ang mga balat ng chichiri at plastic itatapon sa hindi nabubulok na basura. 
para hindi magkalat sa kapaligiran natin. Ito ay isang paraan para gamitin ang nabubulok na basura. Ang mga balat ng butas katulad nito ay pwedeng pakain sa baboy. At iba naman ay pwedeng nalagay sa composting para pampataba sa halaman. Ito ang aming composting. Ito ang nalagyan para sa mga nabubulok na basura. Pagkatapos ng dalawang buwan, ito na ang matabang lupa para sa halaman natin. Ito ay isang paraan para magamit ang hindi nabubulok na basura. Ang bote na plastik at ang lata na walang naman ay pwedeng gamitin pa sa lalagyan ng halaman. At pwede rin magpaganda sa bakuran natin. Kung hindi tayo mag-iwalay ng basura at magtatapon sa tamang basurahan, Ito ay pwede mangyari sa pagpapaligyan ng natin at pwede rin magulat ng sakit sa katawan natin. A pleasant day everyone! As we are now experiencing the modern or digital age, we should maximize all opportunities to spread more knowledge to people on how to properly take care of our environment. One of the ways I am thinking is by using social media platforms like Facebook, Twitter, and TikTok, where I can post my pictures and videos showing proper waste disposal, and also share some creative ways on how to recycle our wastes. Since many people are into social media right now, I can disseminate information easily. But of course, since these social media sites are very powerful, will be very careful in my posts and only share information that are good and appropriate to others and will not be harmful to others or to our environment. I trust that all other IJAans will do the same and help Earth to be a better place for all of us.